Hello, welcome to part 8 of this hex tutorial series. In this video we're going to have a look at functions and why you would want to use them. So as you can see here we have a function already and a function is pretty much just a block of code where you can take in values and give out values. However we can call it, um, which means that we can run it from different parts of our program over and over again which gives us more control in the flow of our program and keeps us from having to write out the same code over and over again. So um, that might not make much sense right now. The example we're going to have a look at is we're going to just print out the areas of four different circles. And the formula for working out the area of a circle is pi times radius squared, so radius times radius. And we're going to get the areas of circles with radii of 10, 12, 8, and 4. So let's um, try to do this just without functions for now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get a value for pi. And hex has a module called math where it holds the constant value for pi. So we can import that value by typing import math.pi at the top of our program and now we can just use this pi variable um, because it's been declared inside of this module and we've imported it so um, let's do it let's trace out the area for the first circle um, and we, we're just going to do trace pi times 10 times 10 so that's simple enough if we run this as you can see we get the correct value and if we want to do the rest we just we'll just copy this four times um, change and change these radius values so 12 8 and 4 so this looks um, simple enough however really it's not a very good way of doing this if we look at this, we know what this is meant to do. We know that this is meant to find the area of a circle um, with the radius of 10. However, if somebody else is looking at this, they just see pi 10 and 10. They've got no idea what's going on here. And if we were to, if we accidentally did plus here instead of times, and we copied this out and everywhere we had the same mistake, then we'd have a mistake everywhere throughout our program where we copied this out. So copying isn't really a good thing to do. You should try to avoid it as much as you can. And we can avoid it by using functions because functions allow us to reuse our code from different parts of our program. So, so how do we make a new function? Um, we have a function here called main and we're just gonna pretty much copy the layout so we write static and don't worry too much about this for now after the static we write function and then the name of our function so in hex we for functions we use the same naming convention as for variables for the first word we use a lowercase first letter and for every other word we use an uppercase first letter so for example um, we can do calc area of circle um, so calculate the area of the circle and got these brackets um, and then we have the curly brackets so here we have these empty however here we actually want to put something in them because what these are actually for is they allow us to put in values into this function um, with a specific name so it's like we have a variable already made for us. So when you put in a function, when you put values into a function, you want to take the values that change each time. So if we look at here, the value of pi is always the same because that's specific to the function that we're running, which is to find the area of the circle. However, what actually changes is the radius. So no matter what the circle is, 
we only need the radius to know the area. We, the rest we can work out. So the only value we're going to take in is the radius, and we're going to call it radius here. And we have to give it also a, a type. So we put a colon, and then float. And when we run this function, it's going to give us back a value. And that value is going to be the area of the circle. So the area of the circle is also going to be a float. So now, um, here in these brackets, we're going to put the code we want to run. And what we do here is we write return pi times radius times radius. And now, do exactly the same thing, but now with this function, trace calc area of circle 10. Um, 12, trace, calc area of circle, 8, and, and also 4. So now as you can see, if we run this, um, for both of these we get exactly the same values. However, th this is much more robust programming. It's much more clear what we're trying to do here, because we've given our function a name. And also, there's no way we can accidentally say 11 times 12 instead of 12 squared. Um, because the, we're only giving the value once, and the function takes care of the rest. So this is why, in this case, using a function is a much better choice. Now you might have a look here and see that we don't actually have a return type here like we do here and that's because the main function has a return type of void so you can put this in if you want it the code still runs it's exactly the same but just know that um you can also have functions that return nothing um and that's a bit of a different thing that we'll look at later on one last thing that we'll look at is um giving descriptions to our functions so this is kind of like writing a comment, but it's slightly different. We use a slash, two asterisks, and then two asterisks and a slash at the end as well, but Visual Studio Code um, should fill that out for you already. And then here you just write a description of the function. So I'm just going to write calculates the area of oh, of a circle with given radius. So now, um, now we have a description of the function that we can look at when we, when we're reading our code and we want to have a look. However, also here when we call our function, if we hover over it, as you can see, this text actually is displayed here, which can really make things a lot easier for people using your code or for yourself in the future. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like, and if you'd like to see more videos in this series, then you can subscribe and get notified when I upload them. So I'll see you in the next video.